Hi guys and welcome to my brand new YouTube channel. In this video I'm gonna talk about how to create your perfect fiber gig and how to optimize it properly. Let me tell you a little bit more about myself. My name is Borisov and I'm a pro top rated seller on Fiverr. I've been there for more than six years and I've completed more than 6,000 projects on the platform. I've earned more than $600,000. And over the last six years, I think I've learned a thing or two about Fiverr. This is why I want to share everything that I've learned over the last six years. If you create and optimize your gig from the beginning, you have extremely big chance to outperform the competition and to get orders immediately. This is happening because Fiverr is pushing new gigs that are well optimized on the first page. If your gig looks amazing and is well optimized, Fiverr may even give you the batch rising talent. And if you have this batch, you, you are just pushed by Fiverr by a ton and you outperform the other sellers that are brand new. So you have extremely big chance to get orders. But if your gig is not professional, it's not well optimized, your headlines are not catchy enough, you are not presenting yourself as an expert, you won't have a big chance to outperform the competition and it's inevitable that you won't get any orders at all. Okay, so in the beginning, you have to make a list of all the services that you can offer and start making a market research. And when I say market research, I don't mean to do something very sophisticated. All that I mean by market research is just to go on Fiverr and look for those services and make an informed decision about what you need to do. Many people think that Fiverr is overcrowded, but this is the furthest thing from the truth. Actually, Fiverr is not overcrowded. When I was starting out, there were more than 10,000 projects related to my services. However, I still managed to succeed. It's true that there are tons of services on Fiverr. However, there are always gaps. These gaps occur because the world is constantly changing. There are many new platforms that are released every single day. There are many new services that are added on those platforms and you can actually find a gap. You can be the first one and find something that is missing. And when you're first at something, you're gonna get orders. When you're first at something, you don't have a competition that you need to think about and outperform. So this is why the most important thing that you need to do when you're starting out is to search for gaps in the marketplace. After you search for a gap, you need to fill this gap. And let me give you an example. Let's say that you're looking for a Facebook and Instagram advertising services, and this is something that you can actually provide. But you're not just good at Facebook and Instagram, you're good in general with social media. So now is the time to go on Fiverr and search for the services that you actually want to provide. And when you type Facebook and Instagram, there are tons of services. However, there are not enough services for LinkedIn ads or Google ads compared to Facebook and Instagram. And this is where you can stand out. If there aren't enough services for Google ads or LinkedIn ads, there will be a ton of opportunities to stand out. You need to find a missing piece in those services that you can actually provide. And when you find this, you will have an edge over the competition. You will have something that they don't provide. And this is the chance for getting orders. The more specific with the services you are, the more orders will come because you, you won't have any competition with that. When you find something missing and when you find something where you can provide value, then it's time to create your gig and optimize it in the best possible way. So let's get started. First of all, we have to examine what are the most important things that you need to change that will actually make sense and make your gigs convert more. So I will show you how my profile is structured so you can get the most out of it. I've been very, very successful with this current setup. So I guess that if you duplicate it or if you align it with your current situation, you can get the maximum out of it. So let me show you how my profile looks like. Um, obviously, I'm a pro seller and uh, probably the majority of you won't be a pro seller at this point. So you may not see everything that I'm listing here. 
However, the majority of the appearance will be very, very similar. So this is my profile. Uh, it's extremely important to add an intro video. This is my intro video. Uh, basically, I've listed everything that people need to know about me, my experience and everything. I'm not going to play it right now. However, you can go on my profile and check it whenever you want. Very, very important to add your previous experience with these clients because it gives you a lot of credibility in front of buyers. Also, if you have the option for consultations, I recommend you to add it. However, if you don't have it, don't worry about this. Uh, it's not something that you need to. And of course, this is one of the most important sections to have a portfolio. Here is successfully completed courses from Learn from Fiverr. This is a platform on Fiverr that gives you opportunity to buy courses where you can learn additional skills these are the courses that i've taken over the years uh, i've taken them mostly for the badges and the credibility that they give you so this is how my gigs look like you can see the, the branding that i have i deliberately did that because i want to create some kind of a brand presence on fiverr you can see that i have multiple gigs related to different services for example, I started this gig in the beginning for Facebook audience research. I started it because I saw a gap in the marketplace. There weren't that many services specifically for audience research. And this is why I started it. Currently, there aren't that many gigs for TikTok marketing. So this is why I created this gig last year. And you can see there are already 72 reviews. I have a gig for consultations, for short ad copy, for Google ads, for social media management, for TikTok audience research and for hashtag research. Of course, you can add a lot of gigs, but I recommend you to start with a minimum of two or three gigs. The more gigs you have and the more specific the gigs are, the bigger the chances to actually lend to a customer. So right now we're going to examine my Facebook and Instagram ad management gig because I think that this is the most successful gig and when I start something I want to validate it or I duplicate the process. So this gig is validated by quality and by orders. You can see when I go here, you can see that I have 1,450 reviews with 50 orders in queue. This is my best selling gig at this point. So this is why I'm going to show you how I've structured it, how I've organized my description, my frequently asked questions, and let's dive into it. So when you're starting out, it's super, super important to choose your gig to be in the right category, because I've seen many gigs that are in digital marketing, social media marketing, but most people have listed them for social media strategy. But actually the gig is for paid social media so it's extremely important to actually choose the gig within the right category after that you need to create the perfect headline um, in the beginning i recommended to create a headline that is more attention grabbing because right now mine isn't but uh, when i started out this gig was called i would set up facebook and instagram ads for conversions if you want you can be more aggressive so you can stand out from the competition and to make it more catchy with uh, more, I don't know, to be, to be more interesting and uh, something that people will stop scrolling when they see. Uh, make sure that it aligns with the service that you offer uh, because if you misrepresent your services, you will have clicks, but you won't have any conversions and this will show the algorithm on Fiverr that you are not a credible person. So this is why the headline must align with the service that you offer. For example, you can see my headline is for Facebook and Instagram ads and I'm offering exactly this. You can see that I have listed my clients here and this is my gig image. You can see I've added a picture of myself which gives more trust. I've also made it very simple so people can actually read when they search on the Fiverr search to what are my services about even before they click on the gig. I think that this streamlines the process much better. And I have a video. Um, I don't recommend to use a video that is similar like mine because even I'm gonna change my very soon. It's better when you're starting out to be humble and don't try to invest in uh, sophisticated videos. You can just record yourself explaining what you're going to do. This will increase your credibility. And in my opinion, you may even get more orders just because you're genuine and authentic. We move forward to the gig description. 
here is extremely, extremely important to make it as persuasive as possible. So you can see that in my descriptions, I'm looking for what my audience wants. In this case, I'm starting with, are you looking to enhance your business online presence? This is because I know what my audience wants. My audience wants sales, or leads or conversions. And after that, I've immediately expressed myself as a freelancer that is verified and handpicked by Fiverr and I'm a pro seller. This gives a lot of credibility in front of the buyer. And I've also mentioned that I'm a PhD student and I learn very quickly, which is, in my opinion, something that most of the clients want to hear. They want to see that they work with someone intelligent. And now I've added here what this gig is about. In this case, it's for professional and Instagram advertising services. I've added that I will use personalized approach because I want to actually take time to customize their strategy and to have a good connection with the buyer so they can have an actual good experience. So this is why I've added this line here. And I've also added that I have extensive experience on Fiverr with over 5,000 small businesses. Actually, I have to change that because right now are more than 6,000. And this is just for the sake of social proof. I want people to see that I've worked with many, many brands so they can know that they're in the right hands. Also, I've mentioned that I've spent millions of advertising budgets. This means that I've worked with many, many clients and I've tested a lot of advertising campaigns to make this happen. Also, I've shared that I have a very good track record. And this is my portfolio. Here you can see all of my projects. Um, this, these are some case studies of past advertising campaigns. Uh, some social media designs, um, some copywriting, and basically I've added everything to make sure that the clients will be safe with me. One of the most important sections that you also need to cover really, really well is the frequently asked questions section. And you can see all the questions that I've listed here. Basically, I've used these to ensure that the clients won't be misunderstood and there won't be any misunderstanding between us. Based on my experience with my clients, I've added the questions that I get really, really frequently, like what do I need to get started? Uh, who will pay for the ads? Can I ask for revisions? Uh, do you guarantee results? For example, for services that the result is not guaranteed, I definitely recommend you to add such a question because um, it's very, very important for you to set the right expectations from the beginning. Also, the same applies for when we will see results because many people want to hire me, for example, for Facebook ads and they expect to have sales immediately, but this, in many cases it's not possible. And this is why you have to set the right expectations with these questions. When you get a tons of messages, you will see most frequently frequently asked questions and you will be able to create them perfectly. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please subscribe to my channel and hit the like button. This is a new channel. I will appreciate it a lot. Thank you so much, guys.